we're asked to determine the limits if they exist from the graph. We have the limit of f of x as x approaches zero from the left or the negative side for the first one-sided limit. Let's begin by sketching x equals zero, which is the y-axis. To determine the limit of f of x as x approaches zero from the left or negative side, we are approaching x equals zero from the left side, meaning in this direction here. Notice as we get closer and closer to zero from this direction, we are approaching the y value or function value of three, which is the value of the one-sided limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches zero from the left or negative side is three. Notice how this is not the same as the function value f of zero. f of zero was determined by the y coordinate of this close point here, where the y value appears to be approximately 3.8. So notice f of zero is equal to approximately 3.8, which does not affect the one-sided limit or the limit from the left. Next, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches zero from the right or positive side. So to determine this limit, again, we're approaching x equals zero from the positive side or right side or from this direction here. As we get closer and closer to x equals zero from the right, notice how we are approaching a y value or function value, again, of approximately 3.8. Next, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches zero. For this general limit to exist, we must be approaching the same function value from the left and right of zero. And we can see from the first two one-sided limits, this is not the case. And therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches zero does not exist, and we enter DNE. For the next three limits, we are approaching x equals four. So let's go ahead and erase our work and sketch a vertical line at x equals four. Next, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches four from the negative side or left side, which means we are approaching x equals four from this direction. Notice as we approach x equals four from the left or negative side, the function values oscillate or bounce back and forth between positive two and positive four, because we are not approaching one specific function value as we approach four from the left, the limit of f of x as x approaches four from the negative side or left side does not exist. Next, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches four from the positive side or right side, which means now we're approaching positive four from values greater than four, or from this direction here, as we get closer and closer to positive four from the right, notice how we are approaching the y value or function value of three. The limit of f of x as x approaches four from the right is equal to positive three. For the final limit, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches four. For this limit to exist again, we must be approaching the same function value from the left and right of four. From the left limit does not exist, from the right is positive three, and therefore the limit of f of x as x approaches four does not exist. I hope you found this helpful.